Okay, now here's the reason why I don't like this scope. While the parallax in the eyepieces is okay, uh, my eyes don't hurt. Uh, it feels a little bit easier for the eyes. Um, so, so that's a plus. Uh, the eyepieces themselves and, and the hoods for the eyes, they're okay too. Uh, nice clean image, all of that is, you know, all of that is optics obviously on the screen you won't be seeing it as clear um, but uh, and and the couple of things that I don't like is it's very light uh, plastic body there are steps in the adjustment so like you can feel two three four five six I don't know if that's necessary just a, bit, a little bit annoying um, and but that's not the issue. The biggest issue is that the what I see through the eyepieces and what the camera sees are two completely different things. So let me show you the uh, double view here. So I am actually focusing on. I'll show you exactly where I focus. Let's say. So I am looking at, let's say I'm looking at this dot here. See this dot here? Th this dot here. So right now this dot is in the middle of my view looking through the eyepieces. But here, as you can see on the screen, it's already on the offset. And if I were to zoom all the way to the max, so we're kind of zooming in it, but we're also shifting. You see, so um, so if I were to center it and then zoom out, you would think it would stay in the center, but it doesn't. It shifts all the way to the side to where it was. So it's very difficult for me to um, to make sure that what I'm seeing is the exact same thing that is on the screen so I don't really know what the uh, solution for that would be most likely I will have to uh, uh, pop the hood and see what's on the on the inside of the head and maybe there are some mirrors that could be adjusted um, but I don't even see like a way to disassemble this in any uh, in a non-destructive way I already see some dust on the mirrors. You can already see some dirt on the mirrors, but that's okay. So there should be, yeah, there should be a few points here on that mirror, right directly across from the, yeah, directly across from the camera that we can adjust so that it would point uh, exactly where we need to. So let's uh, see if I can do that. So I spent a little bit of time trying to get it aligned. I would get the view aligned with the camera using uh, 
0.4 adapter yeah 0.4x adapter and and then i would switch to 0.35 adapter and everything goes out of whack again so i would have to realign everything to that specific adapter which is which is a bunch of bull and the reason for that is because the optics um that mirror on the back uh, it kind of, uh, it gets its image from one of the eyepieces. So if one of the eyepieces isn't properly aligned, uh, then, uh, which I did notice because I had to focus one uh, a little bit more than the other. And so it's not, the image is getting is like from one of the eyepieces. And so if uh, there's uh, any misalignment on that particular eyepiece, which is the right side, then I can't fix that because these mirrors, they are glued down and they're not adjustable. So needless to say, uh, this scope is probably not, uh, probably not good. <laughs> oh, well. All right. I'm going to put this together so you can see how I've taken it apart. I have to clean that as well. But it's all greasy and oily from all that grease. Hopefully, it's not going to get washed, all that rubber coating. Uh, by the way, it's all plastic. Just uh, get some kind of a uh, rubber coating on top of it, spray it over to make it feel good. Um, but that's all there is. I guess they haven't really. Um, reinvented anything to be honest dirty optics uh, you know just a few things to complain about <laughs> uh, I don't know a clone of a clone uh, a cheaper version of uh, Eakin's uh, scope that I have is basically uh, is basically all this is really if you think about it they just uh, took the concept of an Eakins and uh, made it cheaper, uh, rebranded it, uh, and uh, and then claim it as their own. So, but at the very least, it's a lot easier to do adjustments on this than on the Eakins. On the Eakins, it's a, it's a big pain in the butt to do any kind of adjustments. But the adjustments are possible with Eakins, especially you can adjust the uh, the eyepieces, but in here you can't. So if there's any misalignment between this and the eyepiece, you screwed. And uh, unfortunately, and I don't really care. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together. So this came out like this. I mean, it's, it's you would think it would be a, it's, it's kind of a better design in, in this regard that you can make adjustments um without uh you know without uh, with with the eyepieces and the camera installed at the same time so that's really nice uh, but at the same time your adjustments are out of whack because you can't adjust everything that you want to adjust and so you just kind of end up getting stuck with no adjustments at all so i want to do these people a favor and wipe the lenses To make the image a little bit better, especially this one here. It's got some Chinese fingerprints on there. <laughs> and there's a dent on that mirror as well. Yeah, there's like dents everywhere. It is not good. Yeah, this one's got a dent. Probably from a jig that they use to hold these mirrors down while they're while they're gluing them. Because if you think about it, everything is uh, everything is pre-cut, pre-molded on this thing to a certain angle, and then all they had to do is to attach the mirrors down onto them, and uh, hope that everything would get aligned. Uh, well, that in theory it's all aligned properly, but in practice, people with crooked hands kind of make that alignment uh, almost 
uh, impossible to achieve. So, yeah. And that greasy stuff doesn't want to come off easy either way. Either, so I don't know. And the way it comes apart is kind of iffy, you know. So you can probably take it apart a few times and then that will be it. Uh, because of the way it's all, because it's all plastic, you know, and it's all hooked up with these little clamps that will probably break uh, sooner or later. Because there's really no way to um, kind of latch, to remove those latches out of the way to make the uh, disassembly a little bit easier. You just kind of, you just kind of have to force it a little bit to some degree. So we need to secure these on here. Alright, so that's basically how it works. Okay, then this goes in. Just these little tabs holding it all together. Tabs will break. And, uh, you know, God forbid this thing falls down. <laughs> If it does, it'll be dead. So, just four screws here at the bottom to kind of keep it all more or less attached to the bottom of the whole assembly, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know. It's like super cheap. I don't like it. I do not like it. Not one bit. So that goes here. These go back on. Wait a minute. There is no dust cover between this piece and the surface, my bad, I apologize. Please accept my sincere apologies. Now let's see how tight these really are. Yeah, these are not bad, yeah, not bad. Okay, so it's just tight and it, it's just kind of tight enough to uh, keep the dust out, so that's good. We're good there, but still, there's still plenty of place for the dust to get in, such as these adjusters. There's no dust covering between there, so definitely dust is going to get inside, but I don't know. I'm going to let that be someone else's problem, because <laughs> I have enough of my own. So, I guess that will be it for this uh, review, if you could call it that. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.